as it goes down you can see that there's black all the way down and it keeps on going well that's a pretty good Cernix mine goes from the base of my brain which is right here all the way down like this one and it continues to go and it's also um, much wider than this one um, let me see if uh, I can pull up a picture uh, why I'm filming this here and show you uh, one that's real wide so this one you can really see it and this is what mine looks like uh, along these edges right here is the spinal cord if you look real closely right there where my magnifying glass is you can see just a little bit of the spinal cord that hasn't tore through right there so all this in here is spinal fluid and it's it's uh, ruining the uh, spinal cord and you can see this one goes from the base of the brain like mine does um, and all the way down um, it's a uh, it's a very very nasty uh, disease um, it's like uh, it's like breaking your back and uh, um, having a spinal cord injury the the scary thing about it is as you can see on this picture down here before I get rid of it where it's going into the brain right here um, the lower part of your your brain is uh, the cerebral cortex and that controls um, your breathing your heartbeat uh, all that as that moves into the brain if it is not if you do not have the surgery and hopefully it work and get this fluid out it will uh, it will um, kill you you will die um, and uh, also uh, you can have a lot of problems with the breathing and your heart and uh, other stuff um, it also uh, as it continues to grow um, it uh, you start losing um, motor skills feeling all that I have uh, absolutely um, um, no feeling on the left side on my left side I have no feeling um, which is uh, which is scary um, if I just leave it alone like I said the worst case scenario is it can kill me um, but it will uh, uh, within a year if I were to leave it alone I would uh, I'd start becoming paralyzed um, it'll paralyze you uh, quadru you can become a quadriplegic with it there's many many people in wheelchairs because of Cernixes and uh, and what they do to you um, I uh, let me see here if I can get the camera I'm tired of holding it I uh, I just have to uh, fix get this fixed and take a drink here I drank a lot of water um, no caffeine no nothing just water but uh, that's why I have to go get this fixed so that I don't um, become paralyzed and uh, or die and you know ultimately if I didn't have a family and kids and stuff I wouldn't really care but because I do have a family and my kids I uh, I have to go through this stuff I like I said in my last video um, I really hope that I can get some surgery footage I'll definitely have footage of me uh, going to the hospital and coming out of recovery and stuff in my hospital room 
Um, but I hope he can he can do some surgery footage. You can look up uh, Arnold Chiari online um, and uh, read about it and see how serious it is. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to try to get the word out so people can learn about this and know what it is and uh, maybe uh, be able to uh, support somebody that uh, is going through this uh, because it's so it's so uh, sad. Also, uh, I have a um, walker I have to use, a cane, stuff like that. I don't know if that's a permanent deal or not but I do know that the damage in my spinal cord is permanent. It's absolutely permanent. Uh, every doctor that I've talked to has stated that. Um, there's not a lot of doctors that are super familiar with Arnold Chiari uh, and Serenaglioma, uh, but uh, the ones that are uh, have, have stated that this is permanent and uh, the surgeries and stuff that I'm I'm going to go through again for the second time. This is a second brain surgery. Uh, is just to stop the progression. Now the first surgery, if the surgeon wanted to have been a flake, uh, it would. Uh, I want to be going through this again, but. I didn't do much research because I didn't know a whole lot about it and I was relying on doctors to to guide me and help me. Well, I learned a, a valuable lesson. If you ever have something wrong, educate yourself. Educate yourself so when you walk into that doctor's office, you'll know if they're bullshitting you and um, research the doctor do research on the doctor. You can type doctor's names in online and it'll pull up information about them. Make sure you know more about that doctor than he knows about himself. Because if you don't, you're going to pay for it. And a doctor, 99.9% .9 of doctors are after one thing, and that's money. They don't care about you, they don't care about your health, they don't care about your family, your dog, your nothing. They want the money. So make sure you find a doctor that specializes in the problems that you may have and uh, make sure you know that doctor better than he knows himself. That way, if you end up with a problem, it's, uh, you're not going to just get hacked on by a dildo doctor. And that's what happened to me the first time. The doctor was way in over his head, did not do the surgery right. Um, because he didn't do the surgery right, I did not have a Cernix. But because he did not do the surgery right, it has caused a Cernix. And um, I had surgery again, and um, that doctor that time was working on my Cernix, and I went in for an MRI on a Tuesday and was in surgery Wednesday morning because he said how bad the Cernix was and all that. And he wasn't lying, it truly is that bad. But he didn't look at all the other problems that I had going on um, with the Chiari and stuff. So that surgery was performed and they placed a stent in my spinal cord and to, to drain that fluid off. and he basically did that surgery for fun. There was uh, no reason to have done that surgery. But anyway, I hope that people are starting to learn about uh, Arnold Chiari and uh, I hope uh, people are enjoying these uh, videos that I'm putting up and uh, I just want to say thank you and peace out. Have a good night.